Okay, hi, welcome to part two of the VLO low series. If you remember before, we, we went to quick up here, we created a video, an automatic video that we kind of selected the music and we were happy with and we exported it. That was the session before. Now for the next upcoming session, we're going to take that into the app called VLLO. It's in the Facebook group where you download it from for Android and iOS. So you're going to tap on that icon and you, what you would have done is you would have added an audio track in the prior video that I, I think I've, I've already created and uploaded. And in this video, you're going to go and pick up your project. Depending on your iOS device, whether it's Android or iOS, you will have the My Project version. And the old version of this app used to be on the top right, but now it's at the bottom. So if I look at the bottom left, that was my last project I was working on. That's going to be the older. So everything on the left will be your last project. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to show me my, if you look at the extreme left, the first, second, third icon from the first, second, third, fourth icon from the top, starting with a uh, triangle pointing left, music, background music, then next comes sound effect, and then the next one comes the voice. That was the narration that I did. If you look at the previous video, let's play a little bit. Everyone, uh, this is Will doing... Okay, so that was the narration. What we're doing in this video is we're adding a motion sticker. So if you look at the extreme bottom left, we have music note, meaning the audio. We don't want to deal with that. We want to deal with the motion sticker, which is a star next to that, to the right. So we're going to tap on that. Then we're going to tap on sticker again, just underneath the video track in green. There's the star again on the left. We're going to tap on that. That's going to open the library of stickers. Then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through until we find something that we like. Anything without the padlock is free. Things with the padlock are paid for. So um, I'm going to tap on this. No, note, you notice it has three icons. Extreme left and X to delete it and not want to work with it. The next one along to the right, which is an, uh, an arrow in a circular shape. That allows you to rotate as you can see and then the bottom right allows you to resize okay so let's say i like that so i'm going to tap the bottom right tap it and let's say i realize now that this is something that will be more accurate towards the end what i can do is keep stretching it because what they've done from version to version is just dumbness now you can't just hold and drag. You may be able to do it on the iOS. I don't know because I don't have a phone like that. But in many of the Android devices now, you have to just kind of do this dumb thing of, of actually moving each corner to, to move it along. As you can see, whatever's highlighted in light, light green above, that shows where it's going to be playing. You go to the extreme bottom and it says done. So that actually puts it there. What they try to do is they help you um, give you some pointers here. So if I pinch this and I drag, it just makes the, the video bigger so I can mo I can refine more the timing, okay? But I don't just have to do one sticker. Let me pinch here to make it smaller to show you again. I can actually make lots of stickers. So if I go around here, I can tap the sticker again. I can look underneath for another kind of animation. So let's go for the hearts. I'm going to put it like this. Bottom right, tick mark done. Let's say I like this. I can keep done and then I've added another one. Let's do another last one. Tap. Tap down in the triangle, look for another sticker. Tap yeah. Turn it and scale it. Move it down. Bottom right tick mark. Okay, this time instead of hitting done at the bottom, you notice that there are other options. Okay, so if we look at, we're going to look at two things. Opacity, which is a double circle. That looks like a little Venn diagram. So we have on the extreme left, we have the bin. Next one along, we have opacity. If we tap on that, 100 means fully uh, solid. It doesn't got any transparency throughout the actual color. If I sweep along, and let's say I go for about 20, 
20 odd, you can see that that is actually more transparent and then you may want to find the balance so it doesn't disappear. So let's say I'm going to leave it around 70. I'm going to tap done. That leaves that to that effect to 70%. Then the next one that we want along is not the time range. That's something for you to explore, but it's the next one along called animation. So if we look at the iconography, we have the bin on the extreme left. We have opacity, we have time range, and we have animation. If we tap animation, it gives us things at the beginning at the end. So we can have fade in, it fades in, it fade, sure. fades out. We can do scale up and scale down sure. because they're all in highlighting those very bright colors. That means this is what's all going to happen. We tap done. We tap done and let's test it. So we're going to go back a bit in the timeline. We're going to press play in other blah, devices. Blah, blah, blah. So. so there you go. That's the effect. And then when we want to save, if you look at the top right in Android, I'm not sure if iOS is the same. You see a square box with the arrow pointing up to the sky. Tap on that. You're going to have an export option. If you have the free version, whatever is defaulted to do that, because otherwise it's going to ask you to pay. For those Android people who, who are listening and awake, you've got your Google Rewards that allows you to actually do surveys and collect money to pay for apps. So I'm going to tap export. And that's going to give me at the bottom on the horizontal line, it's going to tell me how how it's progressing and it's going to save that into my actual gallery. When it finishes, we're going to verify that. And then what we're going to show you very quickly is how you would upload that to the Facebook group for now. But in the same manner, you can actually share it to your YouTube if you want. So that's telling me that it's done. If I want to play it, I can tap here and play, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to just slide up. To minimize this, I'm going to tap on my gallery icon, which is this one. It may be different in the older versions of Android. I think in the older versions, it's a yellow flower. And I need to go for VLLO. I'm just going to flick this all the way up. We have VLLO. You see here on the top right of the circular green, it says new. I'm going to tap on that. And let's play to verify. Everyone, uh, this is Will doing a cheat and work around. I'm actually doing some bits. Here's my abstract art. So that's the one. If I just step one back, I've got the share options here. If I tap on here, I can actually share it to YouTube there, but we don't want to do it to Facebook this way because sometimes Facebook does not give you the groups option. So the best way to do that would be from Facebook group itself and go and grab the folder where that lives in. Let me just show you quickly in YouTube. I'm not gonna finish it in YouTube, but it's something, a challenge for you guys. So you see here in the share option, there's a YouTube option. I tap on that. So so now they've got, an, excuse me, I've got my son playing here. Baby, please leave those things alone, don't touch. So here we've got now a new thing with Facebook, which is for the children's online protection thing. You gotta learn more and stuff. Um, normally what you have to do is if you scroll down, you have the title, you have the description. If you want to make it unlisted, you leave it unlisted. So that is part of a challenge that I'm going to leave. But for now, I'm going to conclude this video. Please remember to share your videos into the Facebook group as, as we've done before. Thank you for listening.